I'm Beth Tessier with Beauty by Beth, and today I'm going to bring you my morning skincare routine. Let me walk you through each step of what I do in the morning. Now my routine has changed a little bit. I used to pretty much do nothing in the morning except wipe my face down with a warm microfiber cloth. That has changed and the reason that has changed is because my skin has changed. I'm going to be 47 my next birthday and I have some dark pigmentation that just needs some extra help. I have begun doing a skincare routine in the morning also, and I'm hoping to see some good results from that. But for now, let me show you what I'm doing so that you can be aware of some good habits to get into with your skin. If you're a younger gal, so if you're in your late teens, 20s, 30s, it's really important at those ages to begin thinking about your future skin. I love Susan Yara. She can be found on YouTube and Instagram, and she has a skincare line called Naturium. I love her content. She's extremely knowledgeable. I follow her, I get educated by her, and I love what she puts out so, there. I'm a big fan of Susan Yara. I'll put her handle here so that you can follow her over on Instagram. The first thing I do in the morning is cleanse. This is the Saint Cleanser. I probably will never use another cleanser. <laughs> I love this cleanser. It is a creamy cleanser, not a foaming cleanser. Foaming cleansers tend to dry and dehydrate the skin because they have emulsifiers in it. Anytime something is foaming, there are ingredients that can dry your skin. So just be aware of that. This is a creamy cleanser and I absolutely love it. It has lactic acid in it, which naturally exfoliates the skin as well. So there's lots of great steps going on with this creamy cleanser. This is a new product I am adding into my skincare routine. This is niacinamide serum, 12% plus zinc at 2%. I'm really excited to be adding this into my routine. This is from Naturium, Susan Yara's line that I was just talking about. This is supposed to significantly diminish fine lines, but also the biggest thing for me is it's going to tackle those dark spots. It's supposed to fade and brighten dark aging spots. This is a formulation of the vitamin B3. It's supposed to be so, so, so good. I'm excited and I will let you know. This is my vitamin C serum from Naturian that I've been using for a while now. I really love the way it feels on my skin. Vitamin C protects your skin from environmental stuff and it also brightens and gives you a youthful complexion. I've been really pleased with this. So I'm hoping this in combination with the niacinamide is going to be a match made in heaven. If you do some research, there are conflicting reports online whether or not you should use niacinamide and vitamin C together. I actually reached out to Naturium and they got back to me and said, yes, these two absolutely can be used together. There were some articles online that said the niacinamide cancels out vitamin C, so they should not be used together. Naturium assured me that was not the case with their formulations, that they are meant to be used in conjunction. So I got it straight from the professionals. This is my Saint Moisturizer. I usually don't apply moisturizer in the morning, but it is a step I have been adding in. And I am doing just a tiny little, barely a pump, barely and just tapping, just tiny bits of moisture all over my skin. But I'm excited to see if just getting into this routine and adding a little bit of moisture in my skin is going to help with some of these dark spots that seem to be growing a bit. The last step that I have been applying for, um, oh, about six weeks or so, is this Elta MD Skincare. It's a facial sunscreen. I am loving this sunscreen a lot. I love the way that it feels. I love the way that it dries to a matte finish. It's not shiny. It doesn't give a white cast. It doesn't flash back in photos. I'm very, very happy with this. And I just purchased this right on Amazon. All right, let's do some skincare.
There you have it. That is my morning skincare routine. My nighttime routine is virtually the same. I do use this keratin nourishing oil on my skin to break up my makeup a little bit before I wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. It's not a cleanser. This is not an oil cleanser. It's just a nourishing oil for your hair and your body. The good job of breaking down my makeup. So when I use the microfiber cloth to take off my makeup, it just, my face already feels nourished and soft. And then I go in with my cleanser and the rest of the routine. The only thing I don't do at night is I don't use my vitamin C serum at night. Obviously, I don't use an SPF at night. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are interested in purchasing Saint Skincare, I will leave a shopping link for you in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.